Matxina da gorrian daude herrialde arabiarrak tarikali iruñera etorri denean. Tunisian eta Egipton gobernuak erori dira. Aldiz, Libiako berriek irekitzen dituzte albistegiak. Ali, mila behatzireunda berrogeita iruan jaio zen Pakistanen. Artean, Britania handiaren menpeko india zenean. Oxforreko unibertsitatean ikasi zuen. Eta bendamgo gerraren aurkako kampainan parte hartu ostean, nazioarteko analista politiko gisa izena egindu. Ezkerretik begiratzen dio munduari, publikatu dituen liburue jerreparatzea besterik ez dago. Herrialde arabiarri buru zaritu gara. So, I think it's a big turning point. And it will take some time. I would say the next decade will be crucial. Hmm. in seeing the new shape of the Arab world. But hmm. these uprisings have changed. Hmm. Uh, changed the perceptions, changed the level of political consciousness in that hmm. world, and that's extremely important. Hmm. And shown the West, you back these dictators, we are the ones struggling for freedom. Hmm. The Americans are working overtime hmm. to try and create a regime in Egypt hmm. Uh, which will be more democratic, obviously, mm. but which will also work with them. That mm. is what they are trying. Mm. They will fight very hard to stop their hegemony in that region from being uh, broken. Everything in this conflict depends on who you believe. And in Tripoli, they really believe there's a lot to celebrate. Mm. Uh, Al Jazeera was Maybe important yeah. because it's the only television station in the mm. Arab world that people trust. Mm. So they don't trust their own television networks. Mm. So when Al Jazeera started reporting what was happening in Tunisia, mm. the whole of Egypt was watching. So I have many Egyptian friends. Mm -hmm. They said we looked at the Tunisians who are the weakest people in the Arab world. They mm. can do it, we can do it. Yeah. And now people are saying the Egyptians can do it, we can do it. Mm. So from that point of view, Al Jazeera mm. has been helpful, mm. which is why the Egyptians took it off the air, mm. uh, banned it, arrested its chief correspondent, but mm. it was too late. Mm. Mm. I think providing people with truthful images is extremely important mm. and is a very important thing for our side. I mean, if you look at the images you were getting on CNN World, in the early days of the struggle, and the BBC was even worse. Hmm. They were showing, uh, they were interviewing people either from the West or hmm. pro Mubarak people all the time. Hmm. Very few people who were carrying out the struggle. Hmm. That began to change as it became obvious hmm. Mubarak wasn't going to last, but that was not the way Al Jazeera covered it. They hmm. had a permanently filming the mass mobilizations, hmm. talking to X and Y and Z, just getting the views of the people, and that was important. Hmm. Uh, that was important. Uh, which is why the West hates Al Jazeera. Parties were banned. Hmm. So that gave the mass movement enormous leverage because hmm. no political party could confiscate their aspirations. Hmm. Whereas here you have the right, we know, hmm. then you have Pesoy, you have the Labour, New Labour, hmm. French Socialists. Yeah. It's so unless and until there is a total break mm. with the parties that are collaborating mm. with this degenerate mm. form of capitalism, uh, I, I can't see us moving forward in Europe. So there is no hope in Europe? At the moment it seems like that. But you know, you never know. Don't uh, imagine that because nothing is happening now, it won't happen in four years' time.